This is the start of the collapse of the Lee Trent Center Little Gang, also known as the North Tower. We are now tracking the north of the North Gang at two tenths second intervals to approximately 32 meters or 8 stories. This graph shows the height of the left line as a function of time. And I also see simply if we plot the velocity as a function of time. In this kind of a graph, a straight line indicates constant acceleration. First note that there is a sudden onset of collapse, as the point we are tracking makes a sudden transition from being at rest to an approximately a constant dialogue acceleration. The slope of the graph indicates that the acceleration is 6.31 meters per second square dialogue, which is 64 percent of 3 feet. In other words, once it starts feeling, the upward resistive force is only 36 percent of the down of the feeling section of meeting. So for our second, now turn it around. Newton's third law says interactions between objects will be less. The forces two objects absorb in each other are always equally and opposite. If the upward force acting on the feeling blade is 36% of the length of the feeling blade. The dialog force absorbed by the feeling blade must be exactly the same. 36% of the length of the feeling blade. In other words, the top section of the building is absorbing less force in the lower strangle and damage structure than it would if it was simply a sitting motionless. Therefore, as long as the top section of the building is a uniform dialogue acceleration, cannot possibly be providing sufficient force to destroy the building. This may seem counterintuitive to you. You might think of feeling blood coming down on the lower section of the building works on a greater force than a stationary blood. But that is true only if the feeling block actually impacts the lower block, which would cause the feeling block to be silent. The only way the feeling block can continue to be silent smoothly is when she has. As for the lower section of the building to give way without significant resistance. If this one of acceleration continued all the way to the ground, the building would fall at about 11.5 seconds. This is close to an absolute collapse time. So far, I've been using the term block mostly. We will actually see here 